Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the D of St. Mary's with Not Tying with Kate. Uh, we got a couple requests for the Bolin, which is the most useful, versatile, um, prolific knot in sailing. And so we're gonna dive right in. Uh, last time we did clove hitches. And so before I start, I just wanna mention um, the difference between a knot and a hitch. Um, our clove hitch, the friction that was like binding the line together to hold it in place was around the thing. Um, for our bowline uh, is a true knot, and so the friction holding the line together is gonna be on the line itself. Um, a lot of people get a little confused when you're learning to tie a bowline because you start by making a small loop and then creating your bigger loop, which is the purpose of a bowline. It puts a loop or an eye at the end of a line. Um, and when you're tying it in the air, like I just did, keeping those two loops straight can be a little tricky. Um, so when I practice, I like to tie it around something. So I'm gonna use the piling right here next to me, which is exactly how this line is being used. It has a bowl and tied in it leading to the Samson post, and that's what is holding the bow against the dock right now. So I'm gonna take my line and put it over the piling. You could put it over anything to practice with. It's just something that's gonna help me tell the two sides of my line apart. I have the standing part, the part that is going somewhere on the one that's in place. It's the part that's going to the boat. Okay. And then I have my bitter end, the part that's not doing anything. What I'm gonna do is make a loop, a small loop with the standing end. And I want it to look sort of like the number six. And if you've heard someone try to teach you a bowl and using the bunny rabbit tree story, um, when you make your six loop, um, it's important that the part that is going away, right, going towards wherever you want it to be working, is the part that's on the bottom of that loop, right? In my head, I say to myself, the tree is the bottom of the six, which sounds ridiculous, but I promise that it works because then I'm gonna take my bitter end, which is gonna become the bunny rabbit, if you've heard the story. It's gonna come up through the hole, not just through the hole, it has to come up. It's gonna go behind the tree, and then it's gonna go back down his hole in the same path. Remember, the tree was the bottom of the six, so it went behind this part here. And then I'm gonna hold the two halves of that bunny rabbit's path. I'm gonna pull on the tree. And now I have my bowl. Um, it's a great knot because you can put almost an unlimited amount of tension on it. It's holding the boat to the dock right now. It could be leaned on for years, um, but you can still, we say break its back. I can still untie it with ease because of the structure of that. All right, so go ahead and practice. Let me know if you need any more tips tricks i can try to explain it a different way um or just practice tying it a bunch of times the more you do it the easier it's going to be to form that muscle memory and tie it in a hurry if you have to